you You love the hell I move you You love the how I touch you My one When all is said and done You believe God is a woman Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gogi and I run Timeless Look. In today's video, I am very excited to do the God is a Woman bath bomb inspired makeup tutorial. I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched the video of Ariana Grande, God is a Woman. My thoughts on it was that it was an awesome video. Hands down, a lot of scenery, a lot of messages under the art that she delivered. There were definitely a lot of strong, powerful messages under most of the scenes that she made for this video. So a huge round of applause to her and her team for such a cool video that represents a lot of the things women are going through in 2018. So with that being said, let's get it started. Okay guys, so for inspiration, I got this image online and I think this picture pretty much sums it up, the full look I'm gonna be doing. Wish me luck, let's see. I'll be telling you what I'm doing. I'm gonna mix a couple of like pigments and makeup and shadows and lipsticks I have to make this because I don't have body paint. Let's see how this goes. Okay, in all honesty, I have no idea what I'm gonna start with, but I think I'm just gonna start with the face. She has super highlighted cheekbones and I am definitely into that, so I'm gonna use this very iridescent purpley shade which is the nyx duochromatic in color lavender steel also i'm starting my face already with foundation on so i only have foundation and concealer she definitely has a lot of highlight in the side of the nose and the profile so for that i'm going to use a denser and a condensed brush and this is elf's contour brush and i'm just going to literally contour my nose as if it was the highlight part. Ooh, ooh, this is cute this highlight though look at this pop For highlighter, I'm also going to use the Bretman & Rock Babes in Paradise palette and I'm going to be using Baby Girl. As I'm thinking this through, I'm going to bronze or contour. I know I'm highlighting before I contoured. I'm sorry, I said I was not going into it with any measured way so hold on on it but i'm gonna contour right in my cheekbone because it looks like her it's contoured here and then the colors start from here down so so once again i'm sorry for that but i just had to slightly spritz my brush and i'm just gonna put a little bit more that way i can highlight much more Now let the fun part begin. So as you notice, she is wearing a lot of very light pastel colors in her face and in her body. So unfortunately, but fortunately, the only thing I have is this Anastasia lip palette. And I, as you could see, almost never use it. So I guess this is the perfect time to use it and mix some colors. I'm going to start off with this little mix of colors. I know it looks like a little, but I promise a little goes a long way. And wish me luck. So we first are starting with, then we have a very light shade of pink, a darker contour shade here. I feel like a purpley. Over here, and purpley, pink lips. And as I'm at it, I'm just gonna make a braid like her, so I'll be right back. Let's let the arts and crafts begin.
And the lips also have, oof, I look like a brat doll. Or that emoji in Snapchat. And then she has some purple in the middle and in the sides. and like to contour her mouth here. Finally get to the eyes. I think now that I'm kind of zooming in, I think I should have done the eyes first, but blame me, blame me. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna be using a very bronzy yet cool palette it's gonna be bronzy but to the cooler side and the first thing that came to mind was the sigma palette and it is from the nightlife collection from camila coelho other than that palette i'm also going to be using the jeffree star thirsty palette and i'm going to be concentrating in these lighter shades here and the transition colors as a base in my eyes i'm going to go in with jeffree stars subtle and this i want to put it all in the bottom of the lid this is going to act as a perfect base to my eyes and i'm just going to pull it out so as you can see, I try to elongate the eye as much as I could using that transition color. And I'm now going to go in with the Sigma palette and I'm going to use a muted color over here, this color here. I'm going to go into the top of the lid just to give that extra definition to the eye as well as helping elongate the eye in the top. And I just want to pull on it as much as I can making a B. To give that muted yet pop of color to the eyes, I'm going to go with this rose gold glittery color called Snatched and put that in the lid of my eyes. I also go into this color with a spritz brush, that way the pigment really pops. And this color we want to bring completely out. And we want to be careful to only put it until the crease because we're doing this liner crease, which I don't know if you've seen around, but I've seen it in Kylie Jenner's new collection. Then I saw it in her video, so I think it's the new thing in makeup or a new look in makeup. So I'm not sure about that for like an everyday, but I see why a lot of people can feel that is pretty cool and different because it is different and it frames your eyes and it might suit your eye shape very nicely. I am now gonna use this white liner to basically trace the crease of the eye, making the crease very extremely defined and also giving it a very cool modern look. And this one, you also wanna follow the outer V so it's gonna go after your eye ends. It starts from the outer eye here. And it's gonna go right above that bronzy glitter area. I'm gonna be using another brush to just accentuate that. For those parts that I messed up, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer and put again that rose gold color. Now that I'm quite, I'm getting there, I'm trying to get there, I'm going to use the gel liner to make that super extra winged liner. And guys, honestly, here, wish me luck because I'm not the best at this. I'm just a curious girl. I can breathe. 
that took so much precision guys and it's not even perfect but i'm gonna work with this i'm just gonna have to work with my talent so guys i finished my eyes and i kind of look like i'm crazy now that i see myself finalize this look the only thing i'm gonna be doing is the eyebrows she has very heavy eyebrows in this and sort of straight So this is my final look. Let's just recreate the exact pose. You get love a hard touch, you my one. When all is said and done, you will believe God is a woman. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the finished look. Oh my God, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to think about it. I'm like in dot 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 motion. However, it was super fun to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did use a bunch of products. Otherwise, I would have never used. I really adore the highlighter. I use the NYX Duo Chromatic Color Illuminating Face Powder. If you'd like to see more videos of me, make sure to like this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. With that being said, guys, peace and love my timeless souls. I'll be seeing you in the next one.